Oh, Caesar, out of the shop. Oh, here comes the other one. It's late and the lighting is so shit. But I just, I feel like I have to say this, even though, like, it's obviously got nothing, like, in any shape or form to do with me. It's just all this, like, I keep, I've watched quite a few videos now between, like, Harry's videos and Henya's videos and all that sort of thing. Just about, like, and even Brett mentioned it. And it was when Brett mentioned it in his Q&A that I was like, well, lads, if Brett's talking about it, then I'm sorry, I just have to, like, say my piece. Um, I'm not even going to give a, back, a background because I'm sure people know what I'm talking about. My um, my husband and my father-in-law, they run a sports centre here. And they do kids' sports at the sports centre. And loads of kids come up all the time. You get kids coming from holidays, kids, you know, they, they go to the school around here. And it not doesn't happen regularly, but it does happen that kids come up and maybe their parents wanted them to be here to play sports um, or I don't know maybe the kid was expecting something different but they don't put in any effort they're up on the court and they don't seem to really want to be there they want to chit chat they want to stand around and they become a problem because they get in the way of the game the kids who want to be there who want to play who want to improve um, who want to learn, they can't learn when you've got some other little kid standing and getting in the way when you're trying to play a game. So it does happen that either my husband or my father-in-law have to talk to the parents or talk to the kid and say, you know what, like, you just, you can't keep coming here. You can't come. You can't be here because you don't want to be here and you're not helping. You're, you're being a problem and you're, you're affecting the majority, you know, the majority, there's people here who want to learn and they want to get better and they can't do that with you being here. And we're running a business. This is people who want to come and pay, but it's not, it, it, the sports center loses its value if it's just for anyone and everyone, you know, the whole point of the sports center is that like, it helps kids to improve. You don't have to be good. You know, it's not even about like your standard. It's not about how brilliant you are. But it is what it is about is your willingness to learn and your desire to get better and your desire to listen. You know, that's all it is. That's all it is. But you have to have that. And this is Freely and Harley's point. You know, it's for them. I think that veganism, it's everything. It's the bottom of the pyramid, but the pyramid has more than just a bottom layer. The pyramid is enormous and it goes on and on and on. And for them, fitness and cycling plays as vital a role in all of this as veganism does. And if you're not willing to get on a bike and cycle, and if you're not willing to, to know how important being active is, and being pure, being without alcohol, being without coffee, being without any stimulants, if you're not, if you're not in that sort of mentality, then why would you want to go in the first place? Why would you, like, I ride a mountain bike, and I'm not that physically fit, and I would love to go, but I know in my heart and soul, like, my sister and I talk about it, and we're like, when we get really fit, and we get our mountain bikes, or road bikes, you know, when I, it's like when I'm 30 and I've got my road bike and I'm really fit, then we're going to go with the Raw Till 4 fucking Thai fruit festival, you know, because I, I want to, I want to be at that, like I, I could go there now, obviously, but I'm like, I'm sure it would be an amazing experience, but like, I just don't know why you wouldn't want to go there knowing who's running the festival, who's setting up the festival and their obsession with bikes why would you want to go if you have no interest in bikes? It just makes no sense to me. Like, there's obviously vegan meetups all over the place. Why don't you just go to one of Or, like, there's vegan festivals, like, fucking veg fests and shit like that, like, all over the place all the time. Like, go to one of them. Like, wh why do you need, like, it just makes no sense. And I think that's all they're trying to say. It's like, why would you, why do you want to... Anyway, look...
I think banned is a strong word and it's an aggressive word, you know, it is. And that must be tough, like, you know, like to know that you're banned from something. Like, I wouldn't like that myself at all. Um, even, you know, the kids here, you know, you might get told, like, look, you shouldn't really be here or do you even really want to be here? Um, you wouldn't actually tell someone you're banned from the sports centre. But that's Harley, like, do you know, that's, I don't know, I say Harley like I know him, but I obviously don't know him. Um, but he's, he's fucking cutthroat. And I like that, do you know, because I don't think, I think there's very few people in this world that would give you, that would be very honest with you, like 100% honest with you. So it's, it's a difficult thing to find. It, there's, we're so, we're so full of bullshit humans. You know, and we're, we're programmed to be, not programmed to be this, like, I don't know, I've been programming in the, like, um, not as in, like, it's in our nature to be this way, like, but we're, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean? Conditioned. We're conditioned to be this way, you know, like, only say polite things, never say, like, yeah, that, it, this is polite dinner conversation, like, don't bring up serious shit. I don't think Harley would ever be like that. Um, there I go again using his his name. Like I know him. <laughs> I wish I knew him. Uh, someday I'll get to meet you, Harley. Freely and I'll hug you both. For... They're good people, lads. They're good people. End of, this, end of story, you know. And they're... They're... They're, they're changing the world, like, you know. And they're, they're doing it not just for the animals. And, like, it, it's... Obviously, it's all about the animals, but it's not. It's about us. It, We need to figure something out in here, you know. And we're only going to do that if we're moving our bodies and we're active and we're mentally together. And that comes with eating properly and getting out and getting exercise. That's what they're trying to create, you know. Humanity is the one that's fucked up. And animals are suffering as a consequence of that. But we need to get our shit together. And honestly, I think the likes of like Henya and stuff, she's, I don't know if she has her shit together. I don't know her, obviously, but she just doesn't seem to me like someone who has her shit together. I don't have my shit together either, but like, I feel like she's not even on a journey of evolution. Like she's not, I don't know if she's trying to evolve or trying to better herself, you know? It's as if she's like, she's okay with where she is. And I don't know if we should ever be just okay with where we are. We should always be trying to improve in every aspect of life. You know, Brett, you were the one who even said that. <laughs> you were talking about when someone asked you, like, what did you want to improve on? And you said everything. And that's true. We should all be trying to improve on absolutely everything all of the time. So that's just my two cents in all of this. Because I know everyone was just hanging on the edge of their seat trying to hear what Catherine had to say. <laughs>